If you play Dynasty Fantasy Football, then you know all about evaluating players for their long-term potential. You buy player stock when they are low and sell when it's high. Well, look no further because this episode of Gridiron Heights dives right into the stock market of the NFL. Anyway. And they're all panicking, but I'm like, guys, it doesn't matter who's throwing the ball. <laughs> um, are you guys catching this? Yeah, hell hell yeah. yeah. Over the last few weeks, receiver stock is down and running backs are up. The stock ticker shows all the wide receiver stocks trending up with neighbors, Godwin, Collins, Lamb, Jefferson, Hill, and Rice. The wide receiver schedule is pretty much filled with inquiring about more targets and an event reminder for a meeting with accounts receiverable. In the background, there is a reminder to not antagonize Dallas shareholders and a billboard for Ziggy and Mark Wilf, who are the owners of the Minnesota Vikings. Pass me the champagne. On second thought, hand me the champagne. Let's hit that ground game. Look, safety's regulations have made passing passe. Between you and me, there's a run on the Saints right now. Fantastic. Let me hand you over to my partner, Mr. Montgomery. Perfect. I'm going to hand you over to Mr. Gibbs. Yeah, Yeah, I I can can get get that that done done for you. The running backs have older tech compared to the wide receivers because historically, many fantasy football leagues would draft running backs early, but now it has shifted to wide receivers, especially in PPR formats. The champagne that is handed over to Saquon is Big Dom Perignon, and the sticky note on the shredder says, feed me as a nod to Zeke. Saquon is working on the iMac Jones and the running backs have a meeting with RPO compliance. Kamara begins day trading and hyping up the Saints stock. His stapler is a Delaware clam, which is an inside joke within Gridiron Heights about a fictional team that assembles a star players on mediocre teams. There is also a notice to contact IT for any server runtime errors. Gibbs and Montgomery team up trading stocks similar to how they run the ball for Detroit, They also have a book on large kneecap stocks as a joke about how Dan Campbell introduced himself as the head coach by stating his players will eat kneecaps. And when you knock us down, we're going to get up. And on the way up, we're going to bite a kneecap off. All right. And we're going to stand up and then it's going to take two more shots to knock us down. All right. And on the way up, we're going to take your other kneecap and we're going to get up and then it's going to take three shots to get us down. Come on, everyone. Find a way to increase production. Jamar Chase knows how to handle this. I don't boot chip. There's no asking price. There's just the price. I quit. So I might have a little wiggle room here. Are you interested in someone? <gasps> Playing the slot. Oh, oh, Chris. Wide receiver stocks are falling on the ticker with new additions of Dell, Shahid, Flowers, and McLaurin. Jamar Chase is on the iMac Hollands and starts his phone call, urging that he is a blue chip stock but he later comes back with negotiation after he didn't receive the payday that he was expecting. There is also a notice for business decisions being approved by Antonio Pierce as a callback to his press conference after losing to the Panthers. No, they didn't. I think as the game went on, uh, I don't think it was a team. It was, I think there was definitely some individuals that made business decisions. And we'll make business decisions going forward as well. Chris Godwin hesitantly communicates that he will be playing the slot. His computer also shows an item being moved to the Trask. Yes, I'm filling in for Mr. McCaffrey. Found out last week. Found out just now. But you're in very capable hands. Yes, I'm filling in for Mr. Samuels, but you're in very capable hands. Hello? Another Another drop by you? In the conference room, we have Jake Moody's credit ratings, which is a reference to Moody's, which is a global credit rating financial firm. Then Jordan Mason fills in for CMC and jokes that he found out last week before quickly correcting himself that he would be the starter for San Francisco. Ayuk then has another drop in his shaky start to the season. Jennings. Get signed, get in training camp. There's a reason for training camp. You need it. We need the reps. Oh. Get those contracts done. Okay, speed round. Any ideas? Maybe we stop QBs from catapulting themselves into the end zone. Maybe we get a cut of the Normies' fantasy winnings. Maybe we go long. JK! (laughs) (laughs) Any ideas for a speed round? Nah, I ain't falling for that again. Maybe I'll let you borrow the Chiefs' ref so we could all get past interference calls. Yes, yes. Good. absolutely good. Yes. Feed me, Lob McConkey. Okay, boys, time to finally cash in on all that hard work. What's happening? Oh, that's right. Running backs will never be valued. Woo! <laughs> in the speed round for the running backs, we have ideas for running backs wearing red jerseys, mandatory rookie QBs, wildcat formation rebrand, studying the Bears' offensive line and doing the opposite, reducing screen pass time, and making the quarterback-specific tackling rules universal. James Cook then jokes about stopping Josh Allen from catapulting himself into the end zone. B. John wants the fantasy winnings and is holding a C4 energy drink because of a NAL deal that he had in college. 
and JK makes a play on his name. In the speed round for the wide receivers, we have tweeting or subtweeting about lack of targets, making a scene on the sideline, run blocking less than they do now, and having your brother tweet about a lack of targets, just like Trayvon Diggs did. Tyreek then mentions how he will not be speeding again anytime soon, and Rashi jokes about the Chiefs refs favoring them with PI calls. Go for Maserati, yeah, I'd say it's a bubble screen. You want to short it, you sound like my friend Kyler, ha ha, take care. What a sucker. The post credit scene features the debut of Maserati Marv, or Marvin Harrison, just like a Transformer. He mentions a bubble screen and takes a dig about shorting stocks like Kyler. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you love this breakdown, then you won't want to miss out on my second channel, Savwen, where I dive into all things NFL, like this touchdown celebration video. Hit that subscribe button and join the action for even more exciting content. As always, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like and comment down below if I missed any Easter eggs or references. You the real MVP.